Hello friends, welcome to Internet Networks. My name is Atkasi Francis. In this video, we will see how to configure the Cisco iOS zone based firewall on a Cisco router. So if you want to know more in detail, there's a link in the description box so you can visit it out. I have wrote everything about the zone based firewall. What is the deep ins inspection, flexible configuration, stateful inspection and the successor of uh, CBC. So you can visit it out and read everything. Um, okay. So in this video we will see only the configurations, how to configure uh, in a simulation we are using the GNS. So first we have to configure the EIGRP and advertise all the, uh, all the directly connected interfaces. After that we configure on router 2 the zone based firewall. We, config, we uh, configure two zones uh, inside and outside, inside for these PCs and outside for the server. After that we configure some ACL and uh, you will see. Okay, so first we have to configure the AIGRP uh, routing protocol. I already configured the IP addressing just to save your time. So let's start to configure the AIGRP. So starting from uh, router 1. So this is our router 1. So let's see. Do show IP interface uh, brief. You will see. The IP address is already configured. Now router AIGRP. 100 and we have two networks so network 192.168.1.0 and another one is LAN network which is 10.0.0.0 okay no auto summary we don't want auto summary it's okay exit same way we configure on router 2 let me minimize this router 1 okay let me see to show IP interface uh, brief, we have two serial interfaces. Okay, both are up. Okay. Router EIGRP 100 and we have networks 192.168.1.0 and another one is 2.0. 192.168.2.0. Now the summary exit. Okay. Okay, the neighborship is up. Okay. Now router 3. Let me see. Do show IP interface brief. Always verify the interfaces. Okay. Router EIGRP. And we have two networks serial and fast Ethernet. 192.168.2.0. And uh, another one is LAN 30.0.0.0. Okay. And Let's verify the connectivity. So ping um, 10.1.1.1. Okay. So the neighborship is up. Let's see the routing table. Show IP route EIGRP. Sorry. Okay. So as you can see, the connectivity is good. Now we configure telnet on router one and test uh, that uh, we can log in or not on router three. So starting from okay from starting this uh, from router 3 also okay so line vty and we are not going to configure any password sorry configure terminal and line vty and no login okay. okay the same way we configure on router 2 also uh, sorry router 1 also let me minimize this router 3 we are going to configure this telnet for the testing purpose. Line VTY 04. Okay. No login. Exit. So remember one thing that the default policy in uh, the Cisco iOS zone based firewall is to block all the traffic unless we explicitly allow it. So we have to allow and uh, you will see. So now let's check the telnet. Okay, so we have to tell at the router 3 to check it's working or not 192.168.2.2. Okay, let me see. Tell and tell at okay 192.168.2.2. Okay, now we are in router 3. Let's run some command show IP route. EIGRP. Let's see. Okay. Exit. 
we are in router 1 or okay we can so access now, the router 3 via telnet okay so now we configure the zone we configure two zone inside for router 1 means the fastnet uh, 10.1.1.1 .1 .1, this and outside for for router 3 okay so let's configure some zones on router 2 so let me minimize this okay let's take router 2 and create some zones so zone security name you can assign any name i'm using the inside inside okay and exit okay another name is for outside so zone security name outside okay exit now we have to uh, um, assign the interface into that uh, zones okay so interface serial 4 slash 0 okay sorry 2 slash 0 2 slash 0 and uh, the member of that's, uh, this interface is uh, inside okay so zone member security and this fast ethernet is uh, sorry the serial interface is in uh, inside zone so we have to configure this inside inside okay exit and this serial interface is for the outside okay so interface serial 2 slash 1 and zone member this interface is a zone member of outside okay so member security is outside okay so let's verify show um, show zone security yes we have not configured any pair so okay so we have to allow this okay so before let's see that uh, we have configured the IP address on this PC or not so show IP okay we already configured the IP address over here so okay no problem okay now on router 2 we have to configure some ACL so IP access list and extend it give any number I'm using 150 and we have permit the ICMP for the for ping and host is um, 10.1.1.10 and echo okay and we also permit the TCP host 10.1.1.1 and host 30.1.1.1.1 equivalent telnet okay so this this line is for the telnet and exit let me see the ACM we configure correctly or not so show access list and the number 150 okay so, so now we configure the class map to classify the traffic for the inspection okay so on router 2 we create the class map so the class map we have to type which type is is for inspection so inspect and the traffic from inside to outside class you can uh, give any name I'm using this name so inside outside and class okay this is the name we are using inside outside class and hyphen in the middle okay so match 
एक्सेस ग्रुप 150 ओके एक्सेस नाउ कॉन्फ़िगर द पॉलिसी मैप टू डिफाइन द जोन बेस्ड फायर फायरवॉल पॉलिसी ऑन द क्लासिफाइड ट्रैफिक ओके सो ऑन राउटर राउटर टू ऑल द पॉलिसी पॉलिसी मैप टाइप इस पॉल इंस्पेक्ट and we are using the name um, you can use any name I'm using the the simple name inside um, outside and policy because this is the this is the policy so policy and this this was the class so I'm using over here the class just to remember easily okay inside outside policy okay now what class what is the name of that class we given inside outside class so here I'm using class type inspect and here the name inside outside class okay now here we have to give the inspect if you want to know more in detail I have wrote already so you can visit it out there's a link in the description so you can check okay exit exit you can see no specific protocol configure in the class inside outside for inspection all the protocols will be inspected yes okay now we configure the zone pairs this is the important so zone security and uh, you can give any name I'm using this mm, inside outside <laughs> the previous name inside outside and this is for the pair so I'm using pair name pair okay the source what is the source inside so inside this is the zone name inside and the destination is outside so destination is outside okay now the zone zone pair and security the name is you can use any name I'm using the the previous name inside outside and this is for pair so I'm using the name pair you can use source that's it the source is uh, our inside so inside and the destination is outside okay now the service the service is service policy type inspect inspect is uh, inside outside policy okay exit now we are going to try the talent from router 1 to router 3 we allow this we explicitly allow this so let me let me verify that we can tell that or not so Telnet uh, 192.168.2.2 uh, Okay, it will fail. I know. Okay, now Telnet 30.1.1.1. Okay, it will fail. You can see that we are not uh, configure on router. Over here, you can see. Let me show you. Show access list 150. You will see allow host that 10.1.1 to host 30.1.1 equivalent telnet. So, let me show you. We have to, we are going to telnet from the 10.1.1.1 network to 30.1.1.1 network. Okay. So let's see telnet 30.1.1.1 
and we have to specify the telnet and the source source interface is the fast ethernet 0 slash 0 now it will work you can see we are in router 3 okay now let's check the show IP interface brief command you will see we are in router 3 now and if you want to show IP route you will see now exit exit we are in router 1 back okay the same way we are going to configure on router from router 3 to router 1 it will it will not work okay let me show you and the telnet um, 10.1.1.1 and the 10.1.1.1 and the source so source interface is faster than at uh, 0 slash 0 it will not work because we have not uh, splitly allow it okay you will see the the timeout the remote host not responding okay let's verify with the show some show commands on router 2 and show um, zone pair security okay you will see we have configure you can see the zone um, zone pair security now let's check what we splitly allowed is in an access list so okay so the the 10.1.1.10 can echo we allow this so let's see on the pc1 and this is a pc1 we are going to try something from 10.1.1.10 to 30.1.1.10 let's see it can ping or not okay you can see the reply but the 30.1.1.10 can ping this PC or not? Let's verify this. We are we have not allowed this, but let's see. Show IP. Okay, the IP address is already there. So now the ping 10.1.1.10 can. I think it will not ping because we have not allowed this. We allowed only one that PC one only, which can ping the PC five. So I hope you like this video. If you like, please give a thumbs up and thank you so much for watching. If you want to know more in detail about this topic, there's a link in the description box. So you can visit it out and read everything about this. And I have also configured this lab over there also. So you can visit it. And thank you so much for watching this video. And thank you so much. And permit to for telnets, okay?